Alrighty guys, what is up? Welcome back to Stoneblock 2 with Lone Devader 7. And today, we're going to be taking a look at some more Project D and kind of how to advance to the next stage. More specifically, we're going to be showing you how to build the Energy Condenser Mark II and the Personal EMC Link, which takes the Mark II. Uh, these, this item right here, the EMC Link, is really game changer. It allows you to automate EMC farms, stuff like that, way better. So we'll, we'll get to that. Um, but first things first, let's show you how to build this. So first things first, you need regular energy condenser. So I need to get some uh, dark and red matter because all of these are going to be fusion crafting. So I would suggest pinning the recipe. So like the condenser, four dark matter, four red matter, a dirt chest, and a crystal. So we will grab all that. And we only need four, but I'm just going to grab a stack because it's easier. Um, it doesn't actually affect anything. You just need to have the stack split. So like we need that split into fours. We need this split into fours. And then these are just singles, right? So like, here, I'll show you. I'll show you what I mean. So we place the crystal chest because to build the energy condenser, it's one crystal chest. Place the dirt chest. We place our four red matters. And then the dark matters got weird split for some reason, but that's okay. And then we take these, place it like that. Go into the fusion crafter in the center. Take your alchemical chest, hit start. And this will give us our energy condenser. And since we put in stacks of items, uh, we will be able to just click in this after this finishes being built and uh, You know start the next one right away. So like you take out That hit start and you're good to go. So we got our first energy condenser while this is doing its thing I'm just gonna reset up my uh, Hot bar for the Mark 2 variant which we're gonna craft right after so just give me one moment here while these finish being made and it goes pretty fast like this would go faster if all these had flux points i had to reconfigure my power we're going to go over that in another episode um but yeah so it, it could be made better than what it is but it's not right now so don't worry about it uh why won't that let me do it oh all right one of the dark matters popped off apparently not a big deal this will be the last one and then we can go to the level two which is pretty easy um you do need to be a draconic tier so you need to upgrade your bases to draconics if you've got a energy condenser or a tablet these have emc so just type in draconic uh draconic fusion crafting injector they are emcable so you only have to make one and you can pull out as many as you want if you've got EMC. If you don't, you're playing this part of the game wrong. <laughs> In all honesty, like that should be your priority. Like get enough wither kills under your belt to get wyvern armor, then go through and uh, beat the ender chicken, which isn't that difficult in all honesty. Um, then after that, come back down get your uh, philosopher stone go straight to for the tap for the energy condenser then get your tablet and kind of just go from there because I mean once you can transmute items back and forth it, it changes how you play the game and like what you're gonna be going for so yeah anyway but this is what you lay out three dark matter three red matter blocks two black hole units and uh, I forget what the other item is. We'll look at it again. So two black hole units, three red matter blocks, three dark matter blocks, energy collector mark three, any matter relay mark three, 10 million RF, and you get a level two condenser. The only downside with this one, you have to manually place the black hole units in between each craft, but that's because these aren't stackable. Not a big deal. Um, anyway. Let's see 
I'm just getting my inventory resituated. Uh, yeah, that's a little better. Cool. So we are almost done. We almost have four of these made, which is great. Then we can take a look at doing the EMC link. We should have enough time because the EMC link is the other really important item. So all this, this is just a regular craft too, which is nice. So I set up automated crafting for my computer uh, in between episodes and everything. So like I'll go over that at some point and show you kind of how to do it. But I wanted to have it done, you know, sooner rather than later just because it makes a big difference. So there's our energy condensers mark two. Pretty easy. The big things getting to draconic tier, getting EMC so you can make this. So I mean like it takes probably like five, six million EMC to make one of these. And that's just for the final craft. Uh but anyway, so on this we need to make destruction catalysts, which if I can spell, here we go. Um, and we're doing four, so I need eight of them in, t in total. Ugh, dang it. It's doing... So sometimes the recipes in this, like, are fine. Like, it won't say craft an extra philosopher's stone or whatever. But other times, it's like, no, nah, we need all this extra stuff. When, when really, it doesn't. So we do need some tables. Uh, <laughs> not a stack. Yeah, we've got a ton of EMC now. Just just if you didn't notice, two, 3 billion EMC. Yeah, that's what we're about. Um, that's because I've got quite a bit of various like um, EMC farms. We're going to cover all those at some point. It's going to be a different episode, so don't you worry. We'll get to it. But this is how you craft your personal EMC link. So four nether stars, condenser mark two, two destruction catalysts, transmutation table red matter furnace uh basically with this i mean i'm gonna emc these two items every single time this you have to fusion craft so there's no real easy way to automate it these you can pull out of the uh transmute like you can pull out everything except for the condenser from your uh tablet assuming you've got the right stuff so like, even these destruction catalysts, like, it's dumb for me to even craft those because they have EMC. I can just, you know, go in like this. And four, five, six. I think that's right. So, anyway, like, you can pull all the items except for the chest up here straight out of the table. So, just keep that in mind. Like, that's why you want to have EMC at this point. <laughs> Crafting this kind of stuff becomes difficult otherwise, so... Anyway, there you go. That's how you get Energy Condenser Mark II upgraded to personal EMC links. Realistically, you can kind of get around the uh, processing time in the regular condensers um, just by doing clever cable stuff, but you want EMC links if you're going to set up farms, so like this guy... Well, I need to reload it because it's not fully automated. I gotta put in a source of blaze rods, but basically this guy takes blaze rods out of this chest, puts it into these enhanced sag mills with stellar alloy grinding balls, which modify a 230 on the main, 225 on the bonus, um, going, right? And this produces guaranteed like 170,000 EMC uh, per stack of blaze rods. Whereas a stack of blaze rods, let's just grab one, 98,000. So you gain about 80, 90,000 um, EMC for each stack of rods processed. So I'm going to set up a big room of these going into an EMC link now that we've got a few of them. Um, just to get some more EMC generation going. But guys, that is kind of the going from mid to late game with Project E for stone block 2 if you enjoyed the episode be sure to like comment subscribe as always and until next time this has been lone debater 7 and we will see ya